Just blink out of existence. Did I eat it? It might explain the triumphant music. It might explain a lot of things, really, like the giant bouncing testicles that chase you and the trolls playing ping pong. They're all... They... They're playing... They're all playing ping pong. No, I'm not shitting you. This isn't some Easter egg room. This actually happens. There's a room full of trolls playing tournament ping pong, and they don't give a shit about you no matter what you do. They just keep on playing. And you come in here so you can get the final weapon in the game, the magic ping pong paddle. Okay, that's it. I quit. No, that's it. I'm done. That's because I can't... That right, that's rock bottom right there. I can't... You've, you've seen everything. You've seen the worst right there. My work here is done. I can't... You've just seen the Avatar battling the forces of darkness with a magic fucking ping pong pad. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing with my life? You, the last years... I can't. Yeah. <laughs> From now on, I'm gonna play all the video games I actually like. You know? Like... <laughs> like all... <laughs> Shit. Well, it turns out you need the magic ping pong paddle because it, and it alone, has the power to slap balls hard enough to flip switches at long range. And you need this to solve switch puzzles from this point on. Because when you want to flip a heavy iron switch from across the room, your first thought is a hollow plastic ping pong ball. You know, I started a career bitching about how stupid the gun blade is. Where is my gun blade, anyway? But I spent hours talking about how infeasible it was putting a sword on the end of a gun grip. Well, that was before I knew going after dragons with a magic ping-pong paddle was an option. You know, I really hope this is on the tapestry of ages. I hope there's a picture of me with a fucking paddle. I'm losing my mind. Why don't we just go after dragons with pies? Can we do that? Can we throw some pies? Let's get some pies in here. Welcome to the pie factory. First punch into the time clock, then light the ovens. Oh, come on! A pie factory! I just guess where this is. Wild guess. It's in the Stygian Abyss! There's a fucking pie factory in the Stygian- Why is there a pie factory in the fucking Abyss? I've been down here like six goddamn times! I think I'd remember if I saw a fucking pie factory! Did the Black Knight build it? Why? Cause he really likes pie? And that's how he feeds his trolls and his genies is with pies? Oh my god, this game. Please end. Please end this game. You've already given up. You've already gone pumpkin head with tennis shoes stupid not giving a shit. It's clear you never meant for anyone to play this far, so just end the fucking game already. And then there's the final boss fight, and it just happens. You run into the room, and there's the Black Knight! There's no epic music, there's no cutscene, so he can taunt you and make this feel epic. He just runs up, and he starts beating on you. I barely know it's him! And then it's over! That's it! Just mash the attack button, and the guy just dies. I just killed the Lord of the Stygian Abyss with the fucking ping pong paddle. I feel so stupid right now! Let us depart in haste before the Black Knight return! Yeah, let's do that. So you go back, and everyone's in the throne room for this big celebration, even that giant fucking mouse! I'm sorry, that thing just... Yeah. Congratulations! You vanquished the Black Knight! Britannia will be forever grateful! And then everyone's gone! That's it! Well done, Avatar! You've saved Britannia! We done here? Okay, everyone, fuck off, I'm tired! This is one of the worst games I ever played in my fucking life, and that'd be bad enough, but then I had to go and make it personal by claiming to be an Ultima game. It's like, it's got Ultima words and Ultima pictures and characters in it, but they got it all wrong. It's like the characters are there, but they don't mean anything and they don't contribute anything. It's like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Whatever, you've got a game where Cloud Strife fights Donald Duck in ancient Greece. Kiss my pucker. Anyway, I tell a lie before. This is actually Ultima Runes of Virtue 2. Where's Runes of Virtue 1? It's on the Game Boy. So is Runes of Virtue 2, actually. This is a port. I guess we might as well check it out. If we're gonna throw one Rune of Virtue against the wall, we might as well throw them all. So, this is the first game. Yeah, this is gonna be great, right? The primitive version before they hammered out all the kinks in number two, with the characters that look exactly like they're supposed to from the PC games. And there's actual descriptions of the characters with all their strengths and weaknesses. Are you kidding me? Someone involved in the design process of this game actually played an Ultima game? Or at least booted one up? They, they did something right? 
Is it just me, or are the graphics better on the monochrome Game Boy? Sherry doesn't look like a fucking six-foot-tall mutant, she looks like the cute little mouse she's supposed to be. The screen is nicely laid out, all the information is clear and unintrusive. Even the music is better than the more advanced Super Nintendo. The music is actually good, it's relaxing. But fuck that, the music exists, it wins by default. It's amazing how much less claustrophobic they made this version of the game. The stores are laid out better, everything is more convenient and clearer to see. This version, it's like, I don't know, it's like all of Britannia feels about as magical as a medieval miniature golf course. Everything about this game seems like it was a conscious choice to take you out of this fantasy world. Like, what would we choose for food? A turkey leg, a pork chop, an apple... Nah, let's go with a hamburger, that's medieval. Here they go with soup, or gruel here, which is again, weird, but better. Okay, the hit detection is still bullshit, but at least I can tell when I am getting hit. At least there's no fog of war and the camera's pulled back far enough I can actually see what's happening in the room before going inside and getting face-fucked by a reaper. As you can see, it's almost exactly the same game. There's no story here, it's just the Black Knight has stolen all the runes, so go get them back. Which is good, at least there's less of a story to insult me. Runes of Virtue 2 is exactly the same game, which is bad, but even so, the gameplay and presentation on the Game Boy blows the Super Nintendo port out of the water. Everyone has portraits when they talk, and they look good! Lord Tholden looks like General Zod. This version even has better cutscenes! No, correction, it has cutscenes! How is it possible that the Game Boy version has far superior graphics than the Super Nintendo? Anyway, these mushrooms are weird because eating them fills all the adjacent rooms with lava. And then with water. Dude, that is fucking trippy. Can you guys see that too? Because I feel like <laughs> was a bad trip. Hey, look, Hitler statues! And an ancient bowl of soup! But here's probably the weirdest part of this game. You meet the Black Knight in the dungeons and talk to him. Your weapons are rusty, your armor is ugly, and your feet smell bad. Alright, that's it. You just dug your own grave, motherfucker! But get this! You can't fight him! He just says you have a big stupid head and you just walk away. Like, maybe he really does hurt your feelings that much. Like, hey, Spoonie, everyone thinks your nose is huge and nobody likes you. Yeah, your nose is big. I'll deal with you when I get those runes, you ass! And get this, you never actually get to fight him. You get the last Triforce, I mean, rune, and yay, you foiled the Black Knight. Lord British summons you to his throne room to be knighted. Jesus Christ, this is what it takes to be knighted around here? Oh right, I forgot. Remember what it took in a Calabath? You had to kill a fucking Balrog. Well, everything else about the first game is better. Hopefully the ending is too- Oh fuck, of course not. It lasts about three fucking seconds. You walk in, you kneel, and the end, that's it. He doesn't even get up, much less tap your shoulders with a sword. He just sort of waves like, ah, by the power vested in me, blah blah, sir, spooky, uh, thing. Spoony, whatever, you're a paladin, arise and fuck off, the end. You know, I'm fucking pissed now. That twisted jerkweed's taken me for granted for the last time. I'm gonna take him out once and for all. Yeah, I know he's indestructible, and no, the poison bread thing's not gonna work. He's expecting it. I got a better idea. I'm gonna need something like four crystals, a princess, and definitely a TARDIS. I need to go work on this. God damn it, two fight scenes in one review. This job is really kicking my ass. Go oh, come now, Avatar. I've not come to kill thee like some common thug. I am a knight and a gentleman. I could easily best thee with ping pong. It is thy spirit I wish to break first. Uh -huh. Hey, does Magneto know you stole his helmet? Even as we... Even as we speak, my trolls are on YouTube downvoting your videos. My trolls are on your website posting My Little Pony fan art of you and Dr. Insano. My trolls are on Twitter, redundantly telling you news about Highlander movies, asking you to livestream deadly premonition and propagating the hashtag Spoonie hates everything. You did what? Seriously? Oh, come on, tell me you didn't actually do that with the... Oh my god, you did! 
Why would you even? That's not even cool, man. Seriously? What? Why would you? Oh, God. That is seriously fucking annoying, dude. <laughs> oh, why would you? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 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 oh, Pacific Rim video was full of shit. Oh, fuck you! Uh -huh.